Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we are going in reverse. We are going to be removing paint from the pieces instead of putting paint on the pieces. And uh, I've gotten a few requests for this topic and I've been putting it off for a little bit until uh, I can gather all the intelligence I needed. And uh, I think I've got it. And I'm gonna test a few products across the board here and see which one actually is best and um, this pretty much uh, all started with one in one product in particular that uh, got the ball rolling here and that was uh, testers ELO easy lift oh easy lift off now here is ELO right oh wait a minute this isn't it this is my band ELO I'm sorry guys hold on this came out of my music pile here's my music here you can see my musical taste a little bit of dream theater fates warning a little bit of Epica, uh, Testament. Uh, you can see uh, I was in a heavy metal mood right there. I like my progressive metal, but I do love my uh, AOR, uh, Adult Oriented Rock, which uh, ELO is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I, I love all their material. Uh, great band. But anyway, this is ELO, Easy Lift Off by Testers. Um, great product, as I've used it before, and um, it's not cheap, unfortunately, but... Um, it gets the job done, and uh, I want to thank Chuck for this. I got this from Chuck uh, at Epinog Hobby in Warwick, Rhode Island. Thank you, Chuck. I walked in. I was looking for it. He gave it to me to test, and uh, and so it began. So let's go ahead and look at the rest. We have Super Clean, Denatured Alcohol, and uh, ELO. Of course, this started it all, and then we're going to move on to uh, LA's Awesome. I got a lot of... Uh, People recommending LA Awesome. I have a friend that uses the LA Awesome, and uh, it comes highly recommended. The uh, now there's also two brands that are similar to LA's Awesome. Uh, first, this one here is from the Dollar Tree. This one here is from uh, Walmart. Now I was told they're both the same, but LA's Awesome is a buck, well, a buck and a quarter now, and. Uh, this is about a buck forty at Walmart, so it's similar. You get a nicer bottle though. You get a nice spray bottle with the Walmart version, but um, the LA Awesome is the one that everybody highly recommends. A friend uses it all the time, so we'll be checking both of these out. Um, Simple Green, I get a few calls on that. I happen to have Simple Green in the house and isopropyl alcohol, ninety-one percent, just straight up alcohol. We'll see if that works. I know the denatured works the best, but uh, hey, we'll go ahead and try it. Now, what I did was I spray painted a bunch of parts with different types of paint. Here is a lacquer. You know, these are, if you look at them carefully, these are the paints I did the other day with the Iwata test. But anyway, this is a Mr. Color um, Gundam Color Lacquer. And I sprayed a bunch of those. This is my Mecha Empire enamel. I figured you'd go with an enamel. That's different. So I did a bunch of those. And uh, this is Tamiya. To me, it is an acrylic hybrid uh, lacquer base. I think it's an alcohol-based paint, so I figured I'd use a hybrid paint. Did a bunch of those. I happily did a couple of extras of Tamiya, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with the uh, Walmart brand of LA's, the copy there, see if it works. And uh, for my regular water-based acrylic, I'm going to go with this Vallejo uh, air model air paint. It's the one that I used, of course, the other day with the uh, Iwata test. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to separate all these into six different cups and see how it works. Now, a bonus here I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the chrome paint off of uh, some chrome wheels that came with this uh, Mustang kit. Can you see them? They're kind of ugly. But, uh, hey, I took these off the runner, and we're going to soak them, and I'm going to show you guys how I remove the chrome paint uh, from my kits because the, the chrome just looks too fake. And um, with this, I'm going to go with, uh, this is Walmart Oven Cleaner, and it's a foaming spray. And this was from the Dollar Store, LA's Awesome. Once again, this is Oven Grill Cleaner. And I figured, hey, at a buck, it's a little bit more for the can, three to four bucks. But I know it works, you know, and it, but it stinks, but I know it works. So we're going to try this uh, LA's Awesome uh, as well. So we're going to compare the two, and um, we'll soak both, and uh, we'll let it sit. Takes a takes a good hour or so for that to work too. So all these are going to be sitting uh, in between the test, and we're going to see how they all come out uh, in the end, and uh, where the best man win. 
or chemical anyway. Anyway, check these out. I got these uh, containers at the dollar store. These are, uh, they come with lids. They were a buck and a quarter. Look at that. Ten of them with lids. Isn't that great? So uh, that helps a lot if you're going to, uh, for this particular test, because I got small pieces. Um, for you guys, I would put it in a big Tupperware tub because you're probably going to strip an entire kit, you know. I'm going to use these black gloves. I love these black gloves. They're small. I buy a small size on purpose because I, when I'm building a kit with a glove, I need to feel and uh, the part, and, and I get a little sloppy with a larger sized uh, glove. So I go with these smaller size. I take a small, even though I have a, a pretty large hand. <laughs> so, But look how good these fit. These fit really good. And look at nice and skin tight. I can I can maneuver. I can pick pieces up. It's, it's just they're just great. And um, the the across the board here, what we're going to do is you're going to see that they all kind of apply a little differently. But let's go ahead and lay out some cups. And I'm going to end up separating each one. I'm going to have it labeled. I'll show you guys at the end. I'm going to have everything labeled out. So we're going to take all these, get all these laid out into separate cups. And um, it's obvious. I picked different colors, so it was obvious. Uh, I'm not messing up uh, which brand is which brand. You know, everything is very different. So uh, let me go ahead and get all these spread out, laid out into their cups. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to put each one in. Okay, now we're ready to go. We got everything uh, separated. I got everything stacked up. All the pieces are separated. Um, this one is on a clip because ELO, Easy Liftoff by Testers, gets brushed on. It's one of the it's one of the only ones here actually that gets brushed on. It's one of the good features of it, I, I think, because you don't have to stick it in a tub like this and soak it. You just brush it on. And uh, I personally think that's a that's a bonus, particularly if you only have to do strip a couple of pieces. So let's open it up here. It's double capped, which is nice. All right, let's move this out of the way. All right, I'm going to use uh, a craft store, art store, you know, a cheap brush. They sell these like five bucks for a bag of them. Uh, I do like these brushes. I do recommend the rag at the bottom. I'll put a rag down in a second. Uh, but we are going to label this ELO. And I'm going to have everything tagged. So you're going to see everything tagged at the end so we know I'm not going to mess up which one was which. Here we go. We're going to dunk it and just brush this on. Now, believe it or not, this stuff goes on like you're dunking it in, uh, say, the pledge. You know, the floor gloss, like a gloss. And it doesn't run at all. It, it kind of clings to wherever you're putting it. Even though it's... Uh, it, Even though it... Uh, it doesn't uh, look like it, it, it would cling. It does. It clings really good, and it's not really thick. So I like this stuff. It's just it's pretty precise, which helps a lot. And it doesn't smell at all. It's got a slight chemically smell. You would think it would smell like acetone or something, but it actually it, it doesn't. But anyway, make sure you generously cover the piece. It doesn't take a lot, believe it or not, but just spread it around nice and even. Uh, I'm going to lay this flat, just like that. There we go. And... Uh, let it do it. Let it do its magic. It actually works pretty quickly. And um, let me clean up a little spot there. And uh, that's why I told you guys you got to use a rag. You got to use a rag. Um, we'll put one down in a little bit. But anyway, let me go and brush on the rest. Put this aside, and we'll move on to the next one. All right. As you can see, we are back. I got a rag laid down, and we're going to go ahead and spray in. Some simple clean. We're going to load it right up. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera. I got a new uh, new arm here that's holding the camera. And I do apologize. I had some blockage on my last one. But anyway, you can load up. I guess you guys can pour this stuff into a Tupperware and then put a lid on. Because you guys are going to be doing a lot of pieces at once. I'm not going to uh, be doing that. I just want to do one piece at a time because we're testing it. You know. But uh, I'll show you another one. I like to flip it upside down so it sits into the liquid. Anyway, I'll go from the side so you guys can see it. And uh, This sprays really well. It sprays really good. Look at that. Alright, we filled her up. Look at that. 
I mean, there's no mistake in this one. This is uh, purple, like purple power, I guess. I never used. Uh, a couple friends don't like it. I didn't, never grabbed it. Anyway, I'm going to make sure it's flipped upside down. All right, I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to make sure um, these sit for about an hour. So uh, I'm going to do the rest, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, move on to the next. And well, let's go with LA's Awesome. All right, let me grab my uh, next one. Uh, pick the right piece here. We'll go with this bigger piece for LA's Awesome. There you go. Look at that. Shiny. Good paint job there from the Iwata. I think this was actually from the Iwata test. All right, let's open this up. It actually does not smell that bad. And just pour it right in. If it's going to float, we're going to make sure it flips upside down. And it does. It's it's sitting in there perfectly. I don't even think you have to uh, cover this up, guys. I, this really doesn't even smell that bad. Uh, other than evaporation. I'm not quite sure if you can reuse this. Um, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think I would. I think it would get contaminated. Alright, guys. I did all of them. We'll move on to Simple Green. Alright, here we go. Same thing. Let's adjust this so it's ready to spray. Alright, here we go. Now, this fills up really fast, too. Look how much comes out of that sprayer. Wow. I was going to open it up and pour it in, but I don't think I have to. Look at that. It filled right up. Alrighty. Let's do another one quick. See, that one went so well. Let's see. There we go. I like to flip them upside down. All right. There we go. All right. All right. Let me do the rest. We'll move on uh, to the next chemical. All right, guys, next up, let's go with the uh, denatured alcohol. Pop this open. This one I got at my uh, Home Depot. It came recommended, so I wanted to try it also. So let's go ahead and try this, and we'll try the regular alcohol too. I'm not sure if this pours that well. I know it pours good for the acetone. Let me see. You get a good angle here. Oh, yeah, no, I'll pause fine. All right, it's all right. All right, there you go. That's submerged pretty good. See it? Hope this works. I don't know if this works at all. I'm learning this at the same time as you guys. So, uh, all right. I did all the rest. Now we're going to go on with regular 91% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I'm going to put these in smaller cups because I'm going to soak it in these and the smaller cup will let me uh, soak it much easier. I have, I have a case of this alcohol, so it looks like I'm wasting it, but... It was, it was hard to get at one point, so I ended up getting a whole case of it. Let's do another one. Let's put this in a smaller cup again. Let's pour it up. And there's a little more here. I expect this to work with the Tamiya, only because the Tamiya reacts with alcohol, so I'm hoping uh, to get good results with that. All right, let me do the rest here. I'll be right back. All right, now we are back. Let's try the off-brand, or I should say, the non-LA brand. This is this is uh, Walmart's brand. This was a dollar forty, so it was like twenty cents more than LA's Awesome. Uh, it does come in a nicer, I would say, a nicer container with the spray on the top. So let's go ahead and spray this in the cup. Doesn't fill up quite as fast as the Super Clean did, or the Simple Green. But let's soak this. I want to compare it. I just want to see if it's the same product. That way, if you guys don't have a Dollar Tree or whatever near you, you guys can just go ahead and uh, run into Walmart and get the same stuff, if it ends up working. But uh, All right, let's let that soak, and let's move on to the next test. All right, now the next up, we're going to do the chrome wheels. All right, I'm going to show you guys how I remove my chrome. We're going to go ahead with this uh, spray from Walmart. This is the stuff I use the most. It sprays a heavy foam, so it doesn't really mist around. So, see it? And it clings to it, the piece, really, really well. See my hand there? That's why you guys need to have a glove when doing this stuff. All right? At least I could put the lid on these things. And, and you want to put a lid on them for the one reason that this stuff does smell. They have a lemon-scented one, but, hey, it's not that lemony. <laughs> so don't go, uh, don't go by that. All right. I'm going to try the other brand, L.A. I should say L.A.'s Awesome uh, Oven and Grill Cleaner. This is in a spray bottle, kind of like the rest we've been working with here. So let's see if this is a good spray bottle. That's not bad. I mean, it doesn't foam up like uh, the Walmart one. It just doesn't foam up the same. Look at it. 
it's leaving more of a just a pool like uh, the other stuff. Well, there's a little bit of foam. It might be doing its magic. Hey, well, that's why we had to test it. I know the I know for a fact the Walmart one works, but let's see uh, how well this one works. And uh, I'm going to put this aside with the others. I have everything labeled. Well, let me get a lid on this. I'm going to take you guys over, and uh, I want to show you how I have everything labeled out and organized. Let me get this out of the way. You know what? Before we move on, let's go ahead and try a couple of others. Let's try this uh, Simple Green. I mean Simple Green. Simple Clean. Let's see if that'll remove the chrome. I suspect it won't, but hey, let's fill that right up. All right. This I have no idea. I've never done this. I'm doing this for the first time in front of you guys. So let's see if it works. Hey, you know what? Everybody talks about this. LA's awesome. Let's go ahead and try it. See if it removes chrome. I doubt it, but hey, I don't know why I doubt it. But let's try it. It would have come up in conversation. That's for sure. Maybe if you leave it in there for a week, it'll probably eat it away. If you have a lot of patience, hey, then go for it. If it works. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put these aside. And here is the layout. This is everything yellow. Super, LA, simple, denatured, ISO, and across the bottom, you see all of the chrome wheels. I got those all labeled. And off to the side, I have that one test of the Tamiya with the Walmart brand that looks just like LA's awesome to see if that works. So uh, I'm, anyway, guys, we're going to let this sit at least an hour, probably going to be two or three hours, so let everything work its magic. And... Uh, the next time you see me, it's going to be much hours later into the afternoon. And, uh, hey, I'm hoping to get great results here. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit with the results. All right, guys, welcome back to the bench. And it has been about three hours. And I also have fixed the microphone problem. So you're hearing me in real time. No voiceover. Uh, sorry. So sorry about that. I never did a voiceover before. I should get used to it, but uh, it was a little awkward, but we got through it. This is the important part, the results. So uh, let's go ahead. I got them all marked off. We're going to start with Easy Lift Off by Tamiya. Now we're going to, I mean by Tamiya, by Testers. Let's go ahead and get some water in over here. This is warm water. All right. Also, we're going to use these... Uh, I got these at the dollar store. I went with a medium. You don't want to have a soft bristle. You want to go with a medium. So we use a medium head. Actually, I got those at Target. That's where those brushes came from. They came from Target. Now this is hot water from the sink. Not that it matters, but we're going to scrub it. Let's turn the camera. There we go. All right, this is the beginning of the results. Here we go. We're going to start with ELO, Easy Lift Off by Testers, going through each one. Here it is. Let's grab it. And let's see what we get. I'm going to try and keep this clean. Oh, it's taking it off. I'm going to flip it around here. Yep, it does the job. Now, this is the lacquer. This is the uh, Mr. Color. And I believe I can probably, I'm like rubbing some back onto it. I believe we can also rub this with the cloth and see what we get. All right. Well, you know, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to see which one does this with minimal effort. Now, I had trouble with the lacquer right off the bat. Not bad. A little bit of trouble. Like, let's try it on the cloth. I got it here on the bottom. Now, it might have been my fault where I brushed it on, because it seemed to have come off quite a bit of it. This is not even that much paint. Anyway, that's it. With uh, yellow over the lacquer. All right. So we'll put that there. Let's try it with the um, enamel. This is my Mecha Empire enamel. And... Um, Test is being primarily an enamel company. I imagine this is going to Yeah, this is taking it right off So I imagine this was designed to work with their own paint first of all first of all so uh, and their own paint is an enamel 
And it's funny because enamels once dry are the most durable paints too. There it is. Right back to the plastic as far as an enamel goes. So you know the, they're playing nice with their own brand of paint, which is an enamel. Look at that. That's perfect. All right, we're not done. Let's see how it did with uh, Tamiya. This is the Tamiya gold piece. Oh, it's taking this right off, too. Look at this. Wow. A little awkward, guys, with the camera and the microphone. I'm trying to do this as best I can so you guys can see the whole process. And I don't have to go crazy here. I just want to see overall. And don't forget, if you let this if you let this sit, looks like if you let it sit like a full day, you absolutely are going to get all of it off. So, not bad, not great. It looked like it was all coming off. I think the water might be affecting it. You know what, guys? I think it's this water. Let me try something. Let's do this in real time. I have a feeling. Let me get a brush. I have a feeling that this should work, and I think it's the water that's holding it back. It is. It's the water, guys. You gotta scrub it without the water. And then dunk it once you're done. Look at this. Let me get a paper towel. Now look at that. You know what? Let's go ahead and try it on here. I think the water had something to do with it. Like the water was sealing it back up. If any of you guys, yeah, it's definitely what's going on. You can't use the water at all until, you know, you're done scrubbing it. So let's get another toothbrush and not wet it. Let's get another toothbrush and get this water out of here. All right, hold on guys, I'm grabbing another toothbrush right out of the package. I don't want any water in it at all. I just want this, the yellow stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, this is perfect. Look at this. So it's the, oh, let's see if get the lighting here. Look at that, right down to nothing. So the stuff works tremendously. Don't use water until you get it all done. Let it dry. I guess paper towel dry it. Get it bare. And then I would put it in my dehydrator, you know, but uh, you let it air dry overnight. So let's try this one. I'll leave this open just in case we need it. This was the enamel. I mean the enamel, the acrylic, the uh, Vallejo. All right, let's see. A little slick to work with. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, it's coming off in my hand. Yeah, so. Yep, it works on all, all, all four variety of paint that we tested it on. Again, I'm just giving you the basics here. This will work. You can get it much cleaner. It's, you know, it's all over the place because I use the water. But look. So, I mean, I didn't go inside yet, but, so there it is. So, easy lift off, ELO by testers, works across the board, all three, all three, all right? Great results, actually. All righty, let me pause the camera, and we'll move on to the next chemical. Okay, guys, here we go. Move this back. Let's bring up Super Clean next, because that's what's next. You can tell by the purple. All right, first up is my uh, Mr. Color, Gundam Colors. Let's see what we get. Well, it's just taking the corners off, but nothing else. Can you see it? Which tells me if this sits longer, let's try it with the paper towel. Yeah, paper towel is going to take it off. So it looks like, you know, I'm manhandling this. So I think if this sat a little longer, it works. It'll work on the, uh, the lacquer for sure. 
watch i'll show you what see it it's almost gone so i can't say it doesn't work it works i mean the other one just fell right off with the uh easy lift off this takes a little longer of course you know over 15 bucks versus i think this was four bucks so let it sit for a couple days a little elbow grease doesn't seem to do much with these I gotta get better uh stiffer brushes yeah it, it took it off a little bit in the corners like i said if you let it sit longer it'll do its thing so yeah that works all right let's try it with uh hold on guys i'm gonna get a tweezer all right new tweezer set i just got really nice really nice all right let's try it with the enamel this is my mecha empire Oh yeah, same thing. Comes right off. Just like the lacquer. Yep. And a little bit in the corners. Like I said, I think if you let it sit longer, I did it three hours. You do it and sit overnight, you wake up. Ready to start your day. This should all be floating right off. It worked with the uh, enamel. Perfect. Let's get this out of the way. Alright. Got my tweezers again. This is the Tamiya. Oh, I don't have to do anything. The Tamiya is gone. It's gone. I don't even have to rub it. This, it's not, there's not a drop of paint left on this. It took the Tamiya right off. Wow. Yeah, you can see the paint just sitting there in the bottom. Woo. It, it, lights are, it really, really removed that one. Wow. All right, let's try the uh, Leo Game Air. Model Air, same thing. I picked any uh, acrylic that I had. All right, let's not spill that. Oh, it's having trouble with the acrylic. Look, guys. You, you would think the acrylic would come off easier. But, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now nah, it's coming off. It's coming off. I don't know if it worked better. If this works better with a brush, let's see. No, nah, not really. just kind of smears it around. Let's apply some more. Yeah, this stuff seems to work best when it's wet with its own material. And look, with just this brush, right off. Yep, comes right off. Look, I panel lined it. Look at that nice red panel line. Um, oh, look at that, right there too. Let's see if we can get in there and get that out. Yep, it'll come right out. So... This works on all four. Lacquer, enamel, the Tamiya acrylic hybrid, and the water-based acrylic. Look at that. So, super clean. It's super good. It works. Put that back. Let me grab the next one. All right, we're back. Next up, LA's awesome. All right, let's see what we got. We'll start with the uh, lacquer. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, it, this is beating right off this lacquer. Let's try it straight, straight on like the super. No, it seems to, this one really might have to sit for a few days as far as lacquer goes, because it's doing nothing, zero. All right. Hey, let's hope for better results here. This is the uh, enamel. Let's try that. Enamel should work because enamel is oil based. That's my enamel. Oh, right back in. What a shot. Oh, it's working. It's coming right off. Yep. All right. So it works with the enamels. My enamels are amazing. They're the most durable paint once dry. But look at this. They're the ones that come off easiest, I think, because they're oil-based, is my guess. But, yeah, it works on that. Again, if you leave it in longer, this is only about three or four hours. If you guys leave it in overnight, it should take it right off. You could probably even put it in an ultrasonic cleaner and get into all the grooves. It's actually a great way to get a little, look at that, a little weathered-looking, uh, look at that. All 
pre-shaded but it does work on the enamel not the lacquer let's see this uh, Tamiya oh it looks like it's already fallen off the Tamiya yeah Tamiya to me is the one that's susceptible to susceptible to everything it takes everything right off the Tamiya is, is anything will take Tamiya off it evidently let's get that up hold on it seems like these these acrylics are the toughest of all I guarantee you this one's tricky guaranteed this is the Vallejo let's see it wants to come off yeah this will come off but I think again this looks like a case of we should let it sit a longer time but with a little elbow grease and probably with a cloth too I'm thinking maybe a cloth let's try this cloth no not necessarily this paper towel is getting the job done yeah it looks like uh, yeah little elbow grease which tells me if it sits longer it'll work the only one I didn't see it doing anything to was the lacquer because this is uh, coming off it's coming off so yeah it does work not as efficient as the super or the ELO but uh, it still will get the job done particularly I think if you leave it sitting a long time so that's LA awesome all right let me pause it grab another one all right guys next up oh, simple green simple green is next we'll start with the lacquer most seem to have trouble with that except for the yellow so far and the other second place would be the super let's see what we get I can't tell until I actually start rubbing it you know I could try this again let's try this again no that's not gonna do it now I could sand it but that defeats the purpose because you can see in anything I want to see what lifts the paint off Nah, it's just taking the corners off See a little edging again because the edging's coming off I guess if this sets for a few days but eh, at this point why bother it doesn't really work good for the lacquer let's get this out of here let's try the enamel you can see that as my green enamel let's see what we get oh, it's starting to come off I get this out of the way before I kick it all right this takes a little work maybe the simple green has to sit longer like the others however it's taking it off so there you go it will take off the enamel all right this is Tamiya Tamiya seems to fall off with everything yep yeah, it didn't <laughs> it's just like the other one I don't have to do anything it's gone it just came off but uh, to me it falls right off well it worked with that and let's go ahead and try an acrylic which seems to be the bane of all these things you know no well, it's yeah it's doing something it's pulling it off it it's a massive effort I'm really scrubbing it here but it is coming off but it looks like uh, this is another case of let it sit a long time if you let it sit quite a while if this is all you have in the house this should get the job done but it's going to take a few days or pour that into a ultrasonic cleaner and let it buzz for a few hours well it's trying to but hey it's doing a little more than some of the others could not bad but it's a big effort that is simple grain let me get this out of here all right so it worked with these two a little bit here not much hair on the lacquer at all simple green let's move on and get the next one all right, we're back with let's get simple out of here denatured alcohol yes is next all right let's go ahead with the lacquer all right let's see we can, oh yeah this is working the first one besides ELO to really take it off look at this look at that oh yeah this is impressive as far as lacquers go that's the winner with lacquers you know right after ELO but if you take price into account well this can was 10 bucks what am I saying it wasn't that cheap either but it worked look at that it took the lacquer off which is a first after the ELO and the simple green did a pretty good job too all right here we go with my anodized green 
Let's see what we got. Ah, it's the reverse. It doesn't like the enamel. Some of it's trying to come off, but no, not as good as the, it played well with the lacquer, not with the enamel. I'm really rubbing this. So yeah, it didn't like it, but the fact that some of it is coming off tells me that this is one of those long sitters. If it sits a long time, now you can tell how clean the water, the alcohol is. That shows you that really not much of it came off, whereas the other ones, you can see this one's turning red, this one's gold. So you can see that it's pulling them off, but with this enamel, it didn't do as good a job. It looked like it eventually would. Yeah. So, not so much there. But go figure, it did well on the other one. Really well on the other one. All right, Tamiya, where if you just look at it, it falls off. Let's see. Yes. It's it's the same thing. I figure that anyway. It's alcohol based. So that's it. That's cleaned right off. All right. Should I get the light on it? Look at that. Right off. Obviously by the color. All right. That's done. Now let's see if this alcohol works with Vallejo. Now Vallejo hates alcohol to be thinned with. It gums right up. So this probably would have fit. Yeah. It's taking it right off. This is the, one of the best ones so far, as far as the true water-based acrylic goes, the acrylic by Leo. Look at that. It's cleaned right off. So that's good. So denatured isn't bad. But for this, I think if it sits longer, that performed really well. It doesn't even smell that bad either. Not bad. All right. All right, guys, let me grab the last one. Be right back. All right, guys, next up is regular rubbing alcohol, isopropyl, 91%. I did this because I figured I was testing this denatured. I said, let's, let's just try the regular stuff here. I don't expect much. So let's see. Now, oh. Oh, yeah. All right, this worked. And it worked well, particularly with this hard to work with. So the same... Same thing with the denatured, work with the isopropyl. Look at that. Spotless. Perfect. All right, let's see if it's like the other one where it didn't like the enamels. It didn't do anything. Uh, no, it wants to come off. Just like, oh, no, they, this might even be doing better than the denatured. Sorry, guys, I dropped it. Look at this. It's coming off. Wow, this is doing a good job. Let me get another paper towel here. I'm dunk it again. Works good with a little bit of friction. Yeah, it worked. Look at that. So go figure. The old 90 cent rubbing alcohol is doing a good job. All right. Good old Tamiya. Just look at it and it falls off and it's gone. It's <laughs> looks like it just came off the runner. <laughs> All right, let's see uh, what it does with this uh, Vallejo. I know Vallejo, like I said, Vallejo does not like alcohol. Yeah, it took it right off. Yep. yep. Very good. Look at this, huh? I'll just show my hand better. The surprise of all, the rubbing alcohol did phenomenal on all of them. So after the ELO, you know, as far as the auto went, this one did the same. Everything else had a little bit of trouble with one or the other, particularly the lacquer. This took them all off. You know, I think with mine, almost clear, it sits a little longer with the enamel. You could probably get it all off. All right, let's try the Walmart version of this. And it's, unfortunately, I tested on this. To me, who knew it's going to fall off, and I know it's going to fall off, but let me go grab it. All right, guys, I don't know why we're going to test this, because it's Tamiya. It's this one. I believe it's the same as this. And uh, earlier test proved right. For a camera, though, I went and stuck this Tamiya in, and I didn't know that Tamiya just falls off no matter what touches it. So, yeah, there it is. It's already, it's already off. Little bits in there in the corner. Uh, so... That's good, too. So whatever this one does, this does. So if you're in Walmart and you need this, you know, not near a dollar store, 
It's called multi-purpose degreaser, cleaner and degreaser. It was a dollar forty, but it has a nice spray bottle versus no spray bottle on the other one. So it's probably worth the extra twenty cents. Um, all right, let me go grab the chrome wheels, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, for this we're going to bring back the water. It's a little bit of a different situation. Uh, usually it eats it away. We'll start with the oven cleaner. That's my go-to, which is right here. And you saw the wheel, the chrome wheel, before I put it in. It's all yucky. All right, let's get this out of here. And we're just going to flush it. Oh, it's completely gone. It's completely just like I, well, you know, I know that because I work with this all the time. Because I don't like the way chrome looks on models. Now, this is, uh, there's a lot of red in the model, so they just take a red sprue, and that's what they plate the chrome to, you know. I'm going to use my tweezers to hold it up. There it is. No chrome at all. Bare plastic. Now you can spray gloss black and put any aluminum or any uh, chrome you want from all clad. It looks much more realistic. So, oven cleaner works, but I knew it worked every time. Everything else after this will be a little bit of a mystery to me, so let's see what we get. Just get that out of the way. All right, let's see how. Let's see, hold on. Oh, this is the LA mix. And looks like it worked. Look at that. Oh, little bit of chrome. But it worked. Look, it's all gone. So, LA's awesome. Works. Put that right there. All right, I use the LA. Now, this is the awesome because it's the yellow. I can see the color. The other LA. Oh, let me grab it. What's this one? The oven cleaner and grill cleaner. All right, let's try that. That's this one right here. But I imagine if the other one did it, this one should too. All right, let's do this. Oh, a little bit left on it. But I could probably flake that off, right? Let's see. Let's try and get that off. Yep. No, a little bit came off. I could see it floating. But unfortunately, it's going to sit a little longer, I think. But it does a job. It gets it all off. It gets most of it off. I think if it sits longer, it just eats away. It just takes a little longer. See the little bits on there? All off the back completely. So, so we can hold it up. See it? A little bit in the middle. Same with this one, though. So I think if they just sit a little bit longer, the L.A. stuff would work. But uh, not like mine. mine. The oven cleaner eats it right off, right off, like within 10 minutes. But this is a good substitute. Particularly, this stuff stinks. It's pretty caustic. So anyway, let's try uh, Super Clean. It's the last one I tried with it. Here it is, Super Clean. You can see it's purple. Let's dump it right out. And here we go. I, oh, I don't have to rub it. I was going to rub it, guys, but it doesn't need it. It's completely clean. Super clean is the best after the oven cleaner, as far as time goes. Ready for this? Gone. Completely clean. You know what? This, I think, is even better than my tried and true oven cleaner, because the oven cleaner... Let's get this out of here now. Look, the oven cleaner fogged it up a bit. See it? Now look at this one, how clean... Wow. Yeah, you can see the flogging there in the bottom. And look at this one. So as far as chrome off wheels, super clean. So there you go. So I would say, overall, this is my favorite because it did everything, including the chrome. So this I got at Walmart in the automotive department. I think it was four fifty, five bucks. It's giant. I mean, it's double the size of these other ones. So... That's great. If you're a car builder like me and you take all, I take all the chrome off my kits and I re, replay them myself. Uh, if you're going to do both, it's good to have in the house. Plus, you can go clean off your gas grill and <laughs> use it for other things anyway. So I think the winner overall is that. The ELO does work great every time. It takes off decals too. It does it all. But it's not cheap. It's over 15 bucks. The good thing is it brushes on and you can just brush on little pieces if you just want to take care of one little piece at a time, which is good. That's why that is good. But, I mean, you can do the same with these, spray them, but you got to put them in little cups. And it's got to soak, whereas this just paints on, and um, which which uh, it has its bonuses. And then, uh, But if you want to do a lot of pieces, I wouldn't bother with this. I would stick with something like this where you can soak in a nice big tub like this and get all these parts done at once. 
Whereas I have one individual because I'm testing, you know, little bits at a time. You know, when you guys are taking paint off, you're probably taking paint off an entire kit. Anyway, guys, that was the shootout. That was the test. Um, my winner is super clean only because it did chrome and it did everything else across the board. It did the, it did the, uh, the lacquer, the enamel, and the other two, and it's perfect. So there you go, guys. You saw it all in real time. I do apologize with the beginning of the video because the, the mic gave out and I just had to switch back to the mic built into the camera. And uh, that's why you're probably hearing two different types of uh, sound waves as far as I go. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go off and uh, listen to some music. I'll play one of my uh, heavy albums here. Wake me up. Maybe some ELO to celebrate the video being finished. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Like the video, please. It helps a lot. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. I have a lot more tests to go. I got tons of paints coming in this week. I already had some come in last week. So we have a lot of shootouts as far as uh, paint tests go. And those are coming this week. And we will see you on the upcoming week. It's starting to get a little warm here up in New England. So uh, we're hoping for those days we can uh, open the windows. And um, Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this test. And... Uh, Thanks again for sticking with me, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.